welcome back to Anderton's TV. This is another Hello. Tales from the Pedal Cabinet yeah. video where we look at some of the new arrivals in Anderton's Pedal Cabinet. Yeah, absolutely. How are you, Mr. Pete? I'm a bit tired. He but, is. You know. Do I look tired today? No, you look good. Do I? You look good. You're going to push through. Absolutely. I'm going to push through like uh, having a baby. We've gone full global here. <laughs> so we've got pedals from America, pedals from Greece, pedals from Japan, and pedals from New Zealand. Yeah. And then another pedal from America from, as well. From a double tree. America. Yeah. Um, from okay. The so we've got. Uh, oh, yes, housekeeping. Go on, housekeeping. Before what? we go ahead, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see any of these particular pedals, just hit the timestamps. And every 10,000 new subscriber, we give away something. Which and one? That a million, one one? a million, we give one of these real clones away. Yeah. So please subscribe. We would love you for it. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, then hi. Welcome anyway. Yeah, right, so going? Mr. Black, uh, I've, we've known uh, Jack at Mr. Black. It's not Jack Black, but I guess that's probably the fun of, that's probably what he's hoping people might think. Um, we've known him for, that must be 15 years or yeah, more now. He's got a good Instagram um, account as well. He puts some funny stuff up. So the... Anyway. Juice. I mean, if we're England, we're going to say juice. If we're American, we're going to go deuce. Yes, uh, deuce coupe. Deuce coupe. Deuce coupe. I don't Did know. Do you say deuce? That's a deuce. That's a juice. Not in... a juice. That's deuce. It's with a D. De 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 I, I get that. Deuce. But, but over here, juice? you know, in the country that invented you the language, it's juice. It's not um, juice. <laughs> that's something you... <laughs> <laughs> I According to the Mr. Black website, these are all, by the way, overdrive pedals with two buttons until we get to the Joshua, which is a delay pedal. Mm. Uh, so, Mr. Black says this is clear, open, natural, responsive, organic. These words are often thrown around and used to describe <laughs> yes, an overdrive pedal's are. feel and tone. Yes, yet somehow most compact overdrive pedals feel constricted, choked and compressed and artificial. Uh, and of course, jumped. Mr. Black like is it. saying that his is none of those things yeah, exactly. and all of the <laughs> aforementioned. Um, nope. Let's just turn it on and see what it is. We've got gain, tone and level on this side and then we've got ultra <coughs> on this side. Ultra. I'm playing a very affordable uh, master build strat by uh, magical Levi Perry here today, so that is nice. Here. So uh, the drive channel here will give you uh, anything up to 40 dB of boost. 40? The ultra channel goes to 56 dB of boost. Careful with your, you, you end up frying your uh, your valve, not frying it, but you'll be, that's some serious load into the amp. Anyway, let's, what are you get, a, to say? let's get a range of uh, nice tones watch, here. Nice by the way. I've gone G-Shock today. <laughs> Nice That's our clean tone, by the way. Duchess Deluxe on my side, and a uh, new sort of very slightly edge of breakup yeah. uh, deputy on Pete's side. If you want to know more about either of those amplifiers, there will be video reviews in the links yeah, below. Yeah. I, do we know someone who's. <sighs> can, anyway, whatever, let's Vaguely, go on. Yes. Yeah. That's a good sound, it's a great Fat sound. Fat and juicy. Yeah. It's just seven. It's seven. So uh, okay, so let's just get a range yeah, of these gain tones. <laughs> so all the way off, just using the drive side. So you need a little bit of yeah, level going bit, on. Yeah. On the neck pickup. Bridge. 
sounding pedal. Really like that. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the smooth kind of clipping gain structure that yeah. I personally always You're prefer. You're into that. In You're tripods. into that. Yes. Now, does Ultra work on its own? So, oh, oh, it's oh I key. So, Ultra, Oof. right. I know you can probably see that. So, Ultra, if I click that, and the drive circuit is off, it will automatically engage it. So um, I get, it is, I think, just an extended gain circuit for yeah, the yeah. drive sides. I mean, we'll play around with that. Flop. It doesn't sound like it's really adding any more gain from the pedal with Ultra. So it's like a volume it's boost. A big sort of volume thing, yeah, boost. Yeah. And then, of course, it the gain is probably the... coming from pushing the, the front of the amplifier more. My contact lens is a bit annoying. Isn't it? Oh, I tell you, it's, this is monster and loud. To roll off, let's test it. Oh, Flippity flop, that's I a mean, great pedal. That's a really good pedal. We're at the beginning of 2024. I suspect we will try at least <laughs> 24 pedals. 300 overdrive pedals this year. <laughs> and most of them will sound good. Yeah. But yes, that's a good it's sounding, a good sounding drive pedal. pedal. I do like this pedal. It's got uh, some good stuff. And it's almost a little bit different. 220 pounds. Looks kind of cool. All the colors of the rainbow. Uh, should we move on? Yes, let's move on to the okay. higher power. So we are traveling now from uh, Portland, Oregon, over to uh, the beautiful uh, Greek mountains. I don't know whereabouts in Greece he lives. <laughs> in fact, I'm not even entirely sure he's Greek. He's, they are Greek, aren't they, crazy know, tube circuits? Greece, yes, indeed, in Athens. Okay, now, this has been a popular pedal. This actually came out uh, last year, and we've just been so popular we haven't had it in stock. So who doesn't like uh, David Gilmour, the band Pink Floyd, and the album Wish You Were Here? What? I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. come on. So uh, this, uh, you know, there are many, many pedals out there now that claim to be a certain type of amplifier, mm -hmm. perhaps a certain type of amp combined with a certain type of overdrive, whatever. But I've not seen this done before. Hi, what? Uh, so, is that what it is? Yes, you are right, Mr. Pete. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have got on the left-hand side, so with the white uh, screen print writing, we're talking about the, the high watt amplifier that mm -hmm. was used at that time. What was that called? It was the 100 watt one... Comment below, uh, yeah. I can't remember. And then the um, no, no, sort no. of ready orange writing oh, is right, yeah. designed to emulate the color sound power boost um, that uh, I assume David Gilmore would have used into that high watt amplifier. Okay, you know, I've never really. Um, color sound? He must have never really looked into what exactly pedal wise David Gilmore used in that era. I was always, much, I sort of, I was sort of a later Pink Floyd fan, but. That's the fan you are, isn't it? Uh, that's... That's that. That's, yeah. that's probably not a dissimilar era. I just mean, for me, David Gilmore's guitar sound that blew me away yeah, yeah. was the um, Delicate Sound of Thunder, which delicate was, which was when, when he was using, you know, racks of everything. What are you doing there? I don't Stop know. Stop doing that stuff. That's off. just all wrong. Okay. So mm -hmm. I am not super familiar with uh, that this particular high watt amplifier, but we've got a master, a presence, and a volume control across the top, bass middle, uh, bass treble and middle. Okay, that's okay. disconcerting um, the way it's gone from bass to treble to middle. Maybe then that we've the got this switch here, switches between the channel uh, input, so a bright, uh, a normal, or the two, so like those old four input kind of uh, amplifiers okay. of the era. Mm -hmm. And then we've got this 103 and 504 switch, uh, which is um, messing with the headroom of the amplifier. Okay. So let's just, I don't know, let's just, let's go norm, normal right. input, uh, leave it in its 103 mode. So there's a no sound. You need to turn that up, don't you? And it's got an effects loop in it as well, I can see, which is pretty oh, handy. Yes. So you can put, a, obviously, a pedals in there or mm. an effect. No, I want 
gonna put that on, don't you? Go on then. the sound is it? It's got that tone, doesn't it? So with where? the delay. So let's have a little fiddle around with some of the settings on here. So yeah, that is the, mm, that off. kind of, that iconic. It is that sound. So what okay. is this 103 to 504? So slightly higher gain and more compressed on the 504 it's, setting. It's gentle, but right. listen, here's without the pedal. And then you put it on. chug on the bass. But it does add that it has, fatness it has and that. a little bit of pain. Here's the bright input. And in you can hear that. linked mode. It's a sound, it, isn't it? It's so weird. Those sounds, when you hear them, you think it's a clean sound. Yeah. But actually, slightly it's very isn't slightly. It? Yeah, I can't decide which. I, I think, funnily uh, enough, right at the beginning, we were maybe at a closer. Maybe a little bit more drive, actually, I think. We've absolutely Ooh. got, of course, is the um, sounds good, man. Is the color sound boost to add in as well? So Oof, let's just see what happens here. Uh, we've got to switch between ODR and PWR, power and overdrive, I suppose. But we can check that in a second. Good, so th man. this is this switch is switching between a, a nine volt circuit and an eighteen volt circuit. Okay. It's a great I mean, I, sound, I think, man. Did did Thorpey do a high watt thing? Isn't that what the Scarlet? Tunic was or something was did no because I think a... that's a that's definitely an amp that you know I kind of feel like that you know there's been this huge obsession with was. Dumbles and Marshalls yeah, yeah, and all yeah. this kind of stuff I think High Watt is that sort of High Watt is great you know had a there were a lot of bands in the sort of seventies yeah. uh, and eighties even more recently than that but I think particularly then um, and loud and just loud loud brutally loud mm. loud. Anything else? It sounds good, man. Sort of, can we use yeah. this side on its <laughs> own? I'll we'll just play some normal. Not... Is that all There's the gain? There's not a lot of gain on. Wow. 
Wow. Wow it. Woo! That's a riff machine. I think I just, I prefer just the, the white side of this pedal here, the actual And then a little, bit, a little bit of boost from the other side. Yeah, even then I might even just use a different boost pedal into it just to sort Sounds of get great, a man. sound. But Sounds that's... good. I wonder what it sounds like through the 93% of people who are just watching Holding this on, on their, their phone. phone. <laughs> I don't like the way that this sounds so thin. That is a massive like bass end there. It's well worth listening to that through some decent speakers or headphones. Flip the flap flop flip. Uh, okay, so we're moving on from the high power. Let's Again, links it. below to all of these pedals. This is 230 quid, I think. So mm. Right, we are going from Greece to Japan oh, to no. look at the Free the Tone Overdrive Land Custom Shop Special. Custom Shop Special. Uh, yes, I feel indeed. Feel that edge It's like lasered into it. I feel I like that. It is. It is obviously going for a, a dumbbell esque. Uh, reproduction. No way. Um, so we've got all the classic <laughs> kind of rock jazz switches and things like that that yeah. you would expect to see on those kind of amplifiers. Uh, Pete, uh, mm -hmm. as we always point out here, uh, have we ever actually heard a dumbbell amplifier? No. I mean, 99 I've heard one, out of but I've 100. never played one. Yeah, I mean, really? that's what I, I meant. I? Sorry, have we played one? I can't even remember if I've played one or not. I reckon 999 out of every thousand guitar players have never actually played one. So we're all kind of in the dark as to how accurate I think it's these one in a million, are. maybe. Maybe one in a million. But what we do know is that Oops, when the white light is on, so yeah, it's, it's not two discrete uh, circuits like these. It mm -hmm. is an on and off button and mm -hmm. then a toggle between two set, uh, two circuits. So the white circuit goes in, it goes through the two switches here and the um, level tone and gain controls here. If I engage the red mode, it adds the drive circuit through here. So everything's working now. And we've got two different volume levels. So the white circuit is this volume, the red circuit is this volume. Um, Please so like and subscribe. A... <laughs> so let's have a little, let's have a little <laughs> listen. It's a tone without. Oh, it's nice and fat, isn't it? Really subtle. I think when it when the game hits in, mm. that's when you I can quite hear like that gla that glassier tone. Yeah. Flipping great. It does sound great. Right. I've always, the, the rock jazz switch on all these kind of dumbbell copy yep. kind of pedals is, it's always, I mean, that that is the terminology that was used on, on the amps, yep. but it, all it ever really does is it's a bright, it's slightly brighter, I think, in the It's a bit, a in the rock a bit more gainy in rock mode, isn't it? And a bit more mummy and jazzy in the other jazz okay, mode. Okay, let's add the drive circuit in. <laughs> Drivers yeah. in that it's much more gainy here. More subdued in the jazz mode. What? 
It's a great sounding pedal. Wow. It also has on the back, and this is exclusive to the custom shop one, mm -hmm. this very voltage thing. So it's pretty subtle, the very voltage thing, but you can essentially uh, alter you can go from a 10 volt it. to a 19 volt kind of drive circuit. What if the little switch do? Uh, switches it into just a set 9 volt. Oh, right, 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 right. So we're on very now. So. Getting great. Very slightly gainier That's the more you sort of, or certainly fatter. I yeah. Think. Anyway, so that uh, that if you want one of those is going to set you back the most of all the pedals that we've got yeah, today. I would imagine four hundred uh, quid, four fifty. I think it is four hundred. Three ninety nine. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. But there you go. Two pedals yeah. in one. They also like probably hundreds. better than the <laughs> hundred grand that you've got to spend to buy an actual dumbbell that amplifier sounds these great. days. I, I I love feel the tone pedals. I don't have any feel of them. The tone. It's just, Free, Free the to tone. tone. <laughs> it's just a weird day today. Anyway, all right. whatever. So they're great pedals, man. This takes me Expensive. back. This next one. So we're going all the way to New Zealand here to possibly one. the very, very first what I would consider boutique pedal that I think I ever saw in Anderson. Yeah. You know, and like it's when, still back when we back when it was just like Boss or MXR or yeah, Digitech or something OG. like that. Uh, yeah, this Crowther Audio Company in New Zealand started making a pedal called the Hot Cake, uh, and it. So I said it was popular and it's got some fans but then it seemed like a million other people started making boutique pedals yeah. and anyway i've never seen a double hot cake before so i don't know how old this pedal is but it's new for anderson's and it's yeah it's two hot cakes in one so if you get yeah. a double hot cake double hot cake hot okay cake. you've essentially got this side hot cake uh -huh. a is uh -huh. their bluesbury version bluesbury is that like um, bruce breakery Maybe. It says here, Bluesbury, slightly less buzzy around the edges on the onset of distortion. Slightly Often less buzzy. Often works well when guitarists have amplifiers with extra extreme treble boost. Then Hotcake B is a standard um, hotcake. Uh, if they are both activated, Hotcake A drives into B and its controls are bypassed, but an extra drive control uh, is switched in to adjust the gain. Wow, I'm not entirely sure that made any sense. You know what? But let's all have that a made me think about when I was in New Zealand, um, they have got a thing called Were a Bozzy B. Yeah, I was in the Hobbit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just my feet. They had. I was the feet extra. They had to use my feet. They've got a thing, you know. But the kids have a toy, and it's like made out of wood, and it's a B, and you pull it along like this, mm -hmm. and it's got little wings that turns around and goes like that. It's called a Bozzy B, and that's a New Zealand toy. Brilliant. So anyway, that's when you said Bozzy. So I, uh, okay, here's Hot Cake. So that's for you guys out there. Wow, that well, is just over the top on the foot. They say less, this is less bots. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hot cake B! Yeah, 
get more buzzy. It's way more gainy. I was thinking it was going to be some sort of little blues breakery kind of thing. But, but it can obviously do that. Tons of gain. It can do that if you. Oh, these knobs are really. It's got a. It's got that. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what we're proving today here, Pete. I think we're proving that basically guitar players just relentlessly change from one overdrive pedal to the next just for the sake of it, doing a full circle after you bought 200 of them, realizing that they all sound basically okay, the same. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, here we go. So. Oh, that's a bit low, it's low quite different, that is. But then again, oh. No, 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 you definitely need, you need, you need to buy them all, man. There's definitely loads of difference. Let's put the two on together. Oh, sh Right, so now so that, that doesn't so work. So these don't do anything. So okay, right. Gain. This is like it's, this is like insane gain. Insane gain. Line six, spider five, insane gain. <laughs> insane gain. Extreme um, gain, man. All right, so that's the double wow. hot cake. Um, that sounds good. Yeah. How much is that then? Three hundred and forty-nine pounds. Is it? Absolutely. But it does come all the way uh, from New Zealand <laughs> with a, one of Gandalf's sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Should we look at the Joshua? Yeah. This is essentially uh, a delay pedal that, that uh, this is not a, by the way, this is not a signature product no. for the Edge or anything like that. It's just a, I guess they are using the, the, the play on words you know, around the album. But it absolutely is a delay, can be used in stereo or mono. We're running it in stereo at the moment using yeah. the um, TRS. TRS output. TRS. But yeah, let's have a fiddle around. What have you got here? Six knobs, delay, uh, modulation, voice. Uh, uh, regeneration, divisions, and yeah, mix. mix and and trails. Oh, yes. You've got two different kind of echoes on the top as well. On switch. That blue knob yeah. um, is a second echo rather than two different types of oh, okay, echo. Okay, so it's a second echo on top of it, is it? Yeah. Wee, 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 wee. Let's set everything at 12 o'clock because that's what you do when a <laughs> delay pedal is needed. It? It's almost like a harmony on top. Is that, it's an this, is that this voice control? It must be. That's I, like an I, should, I should look this yeah, up, you should. shouldn't I? That's like an. It has a shimmer, but a low shimmer. Right, okay. Sorry. So it's mono in, stereo out, either mm -hmm. via a stereo cable or using the CTR as your secondary Set output here. Yep. However, if you do use the CTR to connect, uh, you know, as not as an output, you can connect either a tap tempo switch to it or an expression pedal switch to it. Okay. Uh, I think the controls are relatively self-explanatory. So you've got um, regeneration is the number of echoes, delay mm -hmm. is the time of the echoes or the tempo, if you like. Yeah. Uh, that echo two button adds uh -huh. a secondary echo at a quarter note tempo. 
trails is trails. Uh, voice and knob adjusts a mix of a minus one, plus one, and plus two octave signal blend. So that's where oh, your right. shimmer so stuff is coming that's from. That's that shimmer, but it's like a low thing. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, modulation is modulation. Uh -huh. Mix is the overall volume of the, of the wet signal. Division knob, obviously, is your way of setting the echo division. Mm -hmm. There's then, a, there's then a load of secondary functions which gets a bit heavy duty. So depending on whether or not you are holding down the echo button or the trails button, you can do stuff like, oh my goodness me, change what the blue flashing light is referring to. You can change the way it, the regeneration, you can change whether it's stereo or not, high cut filter. The, do you know what, you're better off going to the manual here because yeah. all that secondary stuff is, Really, Is that really like a preset thing you sit and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Anyway, how does so, it sound? Yeah, let's just have a basic listen. We're in stereo, as you've probably worked out. Is that low octave? I do like that shimmer. I'd never really known that the, the edges kind of sound had that Maybe it doesn't. octave below. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching the edge, it certainly doesn't. Probably I think there wrong. is something in there, you know, just keep playing that riff. Am I playing that wrong? No, I don't think so. Somebody will tell me if I am. <laughs> I do like it. Yeah, I like it. When I first, it's almost like an organ. Yeah, when I first saw this, I, I wondered if it was a Big, bit of a, a money grab excuse of just like someone came up with a cool name for a pedal and it's just like a carbon copy. Yeah, but it's definitely actually not. Actually, it's got way more. I do like that shimmery effect on it. One of the functions, if you've got the uh, a tap tempo in uh -huh. here, is a freeze control. So you could get that oh. organ kinding, you know, sounding delay and oh. then freeze it. Oh, he's thinking I might oh. do that now. Oh. Oh. Look at that, Mr. Pete, right, he's so. gone and got his thing. The mix is too far out. Right? Yeah, yeah, I put 50, too much 50. mix on it. I was just trying to mix to see like how, how mm. much you got of that. Okay, so, so it doesn't work now then, so my... It's super dry, isn't so it? it just come dry without. But that's the, yeah. always the problem, I think, with these with these freeze, freeze effects. Things, yeah. Is you almost need another one to compensate for the fact that when yeah. you're in freeze mode. That's what Sam said. If so you want to, if you want, you have two of them. But mm. you know, wow. they're not cheap, are they? No. Well, two fifty, something like that. Yeah, and it's really dry on the top, isn't it? It's weird because we've got reverb on the amps, but it's just not enough it's, it's to not, compensate it's not for enough. The, how dry it's gone. <laughs> what is the thing here? So you get all the way up there, you get two. You get an eight note and a dotted eight note note all the way up here. Ba -ba -da. <laughs> that sounds like a big mouse. How much modulation is on here? Let's have a listen. <laughs> that 
is full Mickey Mouse, that, isn't it? Ha ha! Ha ha! We can use Mickey Mouse now because they've lost... The they've old lost ones we can, old... absolutely. No, yeah, Steamboat the, Williams. Steamboat uh-huh. Williams. I really like the shimmer. Sounds it, great, man. It feels like everything you're playing there, I'm just waiting for you to go into a classic U2 riff, though. That's, <laughs> that's the only... It... Morse code. Help me. Get me no, out of here. We are I'm sinking. sick of this we are pedal sinking. demo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the pedal demo is sink, sinking, video. Now it should be the effects loop, shouldn't it? Really? I can't believe I just said that. reason then I'm bored to tears. Uh, I think we're going to wrap this demo up now. Uh, four dual drive pedals and a delay is too much for one demo. It is too much. It? We um, need to st- yeah. Seven. Are you no, wanted to do seven? I, no I just think it's what you need is just different types of pedal otherwise it just ends up being yeah. Drive, drive, yeah, yeah. drive. Right, so, anyway, well, there we are. thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you made it through to the end of that demo, well done yeah. you. You are yeah. a super fan. <laughs> You've probably already subscribed, yeah. so we don't need to say that again. Please like and subscribe uh, but yes, as well, please. Uh, links for all these pedals are in the description below. Pete and I are going to go and have a lie down. I maybe, definitely Maybe am. together. Uh, yeah. We'll see you on in another video tomorrow. <laughs> oh, goodbye.